grasp was the key is to bind intention with action. So I thought, and said twice, recording it the second time. Intention with action. I know that seemed a little posed. When I shot the Dr. Pepper commercial, it was so awkward holding the Dr. Pepper and drinking it. And we were driving in the car, but we were like being towed in the car, so I wasn't weird, but I was like supposed to be driving, acting like I was driving, and they'd be like, they'd be like, look at the girl next to me, look at the guy next to you, look at the road! And the, there were two directors. Oh my god. It was hard, and it was hard to hear because they were in the trailer, the thing behind, and I was in the car driving. Or sitting in the front seat, in the driver's seat. And it was so sunny, so I was squinting. And they, were, they said the best thing to do to look in the sun is close your eyes and look into the sun. And then right before they say action, look forward and open your eyes. And it doesn't, yeah, the sun, the eyes are good for a minute or 45 seconds. So I would do that, and then they would be like, open your eyes. <laughs> I think, or they'd be like, they thought I was like jerking off or dozing or something. I'm like, oh my god! And one director would be like, look at the gr look at the girl, and the or look behind you. There's a guy behind me, and the uh, the other director would be like, you act like you're driving, and they'd be like, oh, put your arm up. Then the other director would say, put your arm down. They'd be like, move your arm, get your arm out of the shot. I felt like such an idiot. It was my first commercial. And I felt like I was struggling so bad, and, and I thought, I, I will never, these people will never work with me again. I will never work with these people again, as much as I wanted to. And I sent them a letter later, months later. <sighs> yeah, it was, it, was, it was pretty rough, although I enjoyed it. It was hard. It was like being thrown into it. Really, a tough commercial to shoot. And then they didn't really, I don't think they ran it. Uh... Thanks for letting me get all that out. Who am I thanking, really? I'm just sitting here looking at a video camera. I'm talking to myself. It's kind of interesting. I've intended all of it. The music. I've had this thought, and I'll say it again. The math. The HIV. The AIDS. The sexual abuse, the girlfriend, the sitting and the standing, intention. And that's what led me to, well, I guess the key is to mix intention with action. But it's all, I, I mean, I haven't been an idiot. I haven't been messing up. I've been doing what I want to do. I've been exploring subjects that I believe are necessary to explore socially. And it's very difficult at times. It's hard was my thought, my intention. It's hard. It's a hardened thing because I'm I am structuralizing aspects of myself in people's minds. And that can be at times a hard thing to overcome, so it seems. I've been doing a lot of it so as to make a vast array of what I am so I can be any of it at any time. Because that's who I am. I intentionally have done this stuff. I intentionally went to college. I intentionally moved to different cities. And it wasn't like I thought about doing it before I did it, but as I was doing it, I was doing it because I wanted to do it. Because all of it. Yeah, it's all exploration and sampling. Not to sample everything. You can get a good idea of magma from a distance. You don't have to touch it. The same goes with situations. Like the situation of a murder or a homicide. Or I feel the heat of that from a distance. I need not experience it. 
with my hands. But the sampling, I, I see it from the distance in, in video and t television does a remotely good job at documenting it and the way people feel around it. And then you see it on the news. I've seen it on the news. And I, when, you, when you watch video of someone that's talking about it that was close to it, it's, it's a powerful feeling and it helps me to know to not do it. I've learned, I healed from it. The power of video.